You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. Today we've got a quick click. I uh, had another zebra sale, and so I grabbed, I think, the last of these metal pens I need to try out. This is the G450. This is black ink, 0.7 millimeter gel pen, as it says here. It says it's a medium point. That's uh, that's pretty right, I guess. Premium brass barrel, comfort rubber grip, and rapid dry ink technology, refillable with the JKL refill from Zebra. And uh, yeah, so this is one, sort of the medium version, I guess of this black uh, metal series that over there and here is the pen it's a pretty attractive pen it's got that uh, that black on black and black all black everything look that you, the that is so popular in the EDC crowd so this will look handsome in your pocket or whatever you have this nice little uh, pop of finial on the knock with this symbol not sure what that is um, maybe it means zebra I don't know but you get this uh, G450 here on the barrel and then gel medium, gel medium around there. And then, yeah, this is a pretty nice, um, this is a pretty nice rubbery grip. I like that. Uh, some of the other pens I have in this series don't have that rubbery grip and I, I quite like that. And you see, this is the F701. There is another version of this now that has a metal piece here, but uh, has this nice little knurled grip, which is good. But this grip, I think, feels really nice as well. And then on the upper end, a little bit more expensive than this one is the G750, which is kind of bigger all around. And again, has that same knurled grip as the 701. Uh, as opposed to the 450's rubbery grip. Also, these are different sorts of sizes, I guess. Yeah, so these two are the same kind of size. So if you like this classic metal pen, the F701, you'll probably like the um, G450 as well. This, however, is a ballpoint, so it has a much finer point to it than the gel 0.7 millimeter that we have here. Uh, and this one is also a 7 uh, millimeter because, um, or rather, 0.7 millimeter, because that's kind of what they're selling on their site right now. They didn't have have anything smaller. Let's go ahead and give these a try. It's supposed to be that rapid dry ink technology. This is the ballpoint. And as you can see, it writes fine. It's not, uh, you know, it's not gonna be blowing anybody's doors off, but it does get the job done, I think. Then here we have the forfeit. I gotta take the little nubbin off here. It's a little bit of plastic. It's the gel 0.7 millimeter. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Oh, it does dry very quickly. This is just a scrap of uh, sort of copier style paper, but it, uh, yeah. And yeah, that dries very quickly. I think this has the exact same ink cartridge in it. I don't think there's anything different going on here. And yeah, dries very, very quickly on this stuff. If you put this on some other coated papers and things like that, like you would for fountain pen, it won't dry quite as well, I don't believe, but it's pretty good on here. Uh, dries, you know, quickly enough that I can write with it and then not smudge it. It does say on their webpage that this, that this is perfect for left-handers. Here is that little gel refill. I don't know how long this refill is going to last because it's pretty small and uh, gel refills generally don't last nearly as long as their ballpoint cousins, but uh, you'll get a fair amount of use out of this and uh, the refills are not very expensive online as I remember. So definitely I think worth picking up. So these two this one is a much larger pen. I'm actually kind of surprised. I didn't know it was going to be that much bigger, but it's a good half inch longer and it doesn't have the rubbery knurling or rubbery grip there. Instead, it has the more classic knurling. Yeah, I'm going to be using this one, see how it goes, but I do like the weight of this. It has a really nice weight. I think this one is actually a little bit on the heavy side. The X, or sorry, G750 is a fairly heavy pen and it's quite long. So for my hand, this is totally fine, but uh, I, I really like this as well. Well, I think this might actually fit better in the pocket, uh, even though it is a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter. Um, I, I think, yeah, these are both very good. So I guess kind of, you know, pick whether you like a really large pen or a smaller, lighter pen. Uh, this one right now, immediately in the hand, I think feels a little bit better and it's a little less expensive. This one goes for a full price of $9.36 on the website, which is not too bad. Whereas this one, the G750 uh, retails at 13 bucks. So a fair amount more expensive for this one. Uh, yeah, this one feels real nice. Uh, my friend Carol said, hey, have you tried this one yet? And I said, you know what? It's coming in the mail. So yeah, keep an eye 
eye out for these in your, uh, you know, your local stores. Sometimes you can find zebra pins in like your local CVS even and not even just like off supply places. But also check out the zebra site because a lot of times they'll have like a 40 or 50 percent off sale. And that is a great time to stock up on these, uh, you know, these interesting ballpoint and gel pens. All right, that's it. See you another one. Peace out.